record a message for me, Dad. What do you want me to say? Anything. Hmm, okay, let's see. I love you very much, and there's nothing that will ever keep us apart. I love you very much, and there's nothing that will ever keep us apart. Cool, huh? It's very cool. You want to go get some ice cream? Yeah. All right, let's go. Come on. Hello? 911, what's your emergency? Oh my gosh, yes. I just seen my neighbor. He just robbed someone at gunpoint. Your neighbor just robbed someone at gunpoint? Yes. His name is Michael Stone. I have you at 2650 Robinson Way. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. But his name is Michael Stone and he lives in apartment 226. He also has drugs underneath his couch. Okay, we're sending an officer your way. Oh my gosh, please hurry. Okay, can you give me your information? What's your name? <laughs> I think it's amazing you're willing to take in your neighbor's child. Of course, like what are good neighbors for? Yeah, I think it's best when uh, the child stays with someone that they know. It makes the transition typically smoother. Yeah, I do agree. And Alex, you really have nothing to worry about. You're really going to love it here, trust me. Can I go play PlayStation? Of course you can. That's for you. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. I bought it for you. <laughs> Kids are so crazy. So, um, tell me, is there any update about the father, like his charges? Last I heard, they were dropping the robbery charges because the woman who called the cops didn't want to come forward. Mm, I see. Well, what about the drug charges? The drug charges are sticking. I knew it. So, um, wait, that's not good, though. Yeah, Michael claims he's innocent, though. Says that he's never used drugs in his life. Isn't that what they all say? You can't trust these drug addicts. True, but uh, yeah, according to him, someone set him up. I wonder who that could have been. Hmm. I don't know, but I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. I suppose. So I'm expecting to have received some type of compensation for allowing her to stay here? Of course, as a foster parent, you will be receiving a monthly allowance of $1,000. Okay, great. So um, when can I expect to actually receive that money? Oh, the money should be hitting your account within 15 days. 15 days? That's just in time for my rent, girl. Trust me. <laughs> uh, you do know that the money is only supposed to be used for the child's expenses, correct? No, I'm just joking. You know, just the same. Just in time for my rent. You know, just joking. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm just joking. <laughs> what do you think? I can't believe you actually believe that. You had me there for a second. I have seen one too many evil foster mom videos on YouTube. <laughs> No, 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 you don't have nothing to worry about. Alex, she's in great hands, like Allstate. I know she is. Well, if you need anything, I'm just a phone call away. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Go ahead and uh, turn it off now. What? I said go ahead and turn it off now. But I'm in the middle of a game. You're questioning me? Hey! Don't talk back. Let's establish some ground rules, shall we? In this house, I'm the guardian and you are my servant. I am the boss here, not you. You understand? I'm not a servant. <laughs> You're not a servant? Let me tell you something. This paper says otherwise. You could read? This paper says I am the guardian, I'm the boss, and you are my servant. Therefore, you do as I say. But I want to play PlayStation. I don't care what you want. You're not understanding. This is my house. What I say goes. I make the rules and you listen. I thought you said we we're going to be best friends. <laughs> listen here, little girl. Me and you, we're not best friends. You're here for only two reasons. Your reason for being in this house is to pay my bills and so you can clean my house. I... I want my dad. <laughs> I don't care. I do not care what you want. Your dad is not coming back for you. This is your new norm. No, he's innocent. He'll be back soon. <laughs> innocent. I made sure that your dad is not coming back. I made sure he's gonna rot in that jail. Now, are you gonna do what I said? Get up right now and go, please. 
get in this bathroom right now! Why are you making this so hard on yourself, Alex? You're not the first foster child that I've had, and you're not gonna be the last. You might as well stop making this hard for yourself. Accept your new life here. You don't scare me. Well, I should. You have absolutely no idea what I'm capable of, do you? My dad's getting out of jail soon and taking me home. <laughs> My dad is good. Your dad is never coming home. Get that through your head. Matter of fact, since we're all friends and everything, let me go ahead and let you in a little secret, okay? I'm the one who called the police on your dad. I'm the one who got your dad arrested. And I'm the one that made sure those charges will stick. You understand where I'm going with this? Why won't you get it through your head, Alex? Your dad is never coming home. You're here forever, getting used to your new life. I love you very much, and there's nothing that will ever keep us apart. You ready to start listening? I'm hungry. All right, how about this? I'm gonna try to reason with you a little bit, okay? I know this is your first time. How about you get five pieces of chicken nuggets after you finish cleaning my house? Five? That's it? That's it. You're so ungrateful. McDonald's only give you four and you never complain. I'm, I'm gonna starve to death. <laughs> Does it look like I care? You know I could get another foster child easily. Come a dime a dozen, easy. So, you're gonna hurt me if I don't listen to you. That's a bit of an understatement. But yeah, definitely. I mean, I may seem cute and nice or whatever, you know, but trust me, I'm capable of very, very dangerous things. Like getting my dad arrested? Mm hmm like that, exactly. How'd you do it? It was quite simple. I broke into your house when no one was there. I planted some drugs underneath the couch and then I called the police. Simple. Why'd you do it? What have I continuously been saying over and over again? Money and free labor. I need you to clean my house. Someone's at the door, so I'm gonna need you to shut up and stay in here. And don't say not one word. Oh, hey, what brings you back again? Oh, I forgot to get your signature on a couple more documents. Okay, that's no problem. I'll come by tomorrow. How about that? Well, if you want to get your paycheck in time, I suggest you do this now. Mind if I come in? Uh, yeah, sure. Come on. Why not? There's like four or five pages here. Feel free to read them through and then sign at the bottom. Where's Alex? Uh, well, she's actually sleeping. We was at the park earlier and she was running around, so she's really tired. So, you know, she's gonna sleep it off and then we're gonna go get some ice cream later. Nice. So, come on, let me wake you up. Thanks for coming by. You're gonna hurt me if I don't listen to you. Wait, do you hear that? Like, no, I don't hear anything. I mean, listen, nice it sounds like a recording. Trust me, I'm capable of very, very dangerous things. Like getting my dad arrested? Mm hmm. Like that, exactly. Um, How'd you do it? It was quite simple. I broke into your house. Wait, don't go in here, there. please. Just... Alex, oh my god! Are you okay? Why'd you do it? Money and free labor. I need you to clean my house. Come on, I'm sorry. Oh. I knew it. You are an evil foster mom. No, I'm not. Like, we were. We could expect. Could explain this. How do you explain this? Why would you do this to a child? I could explain. I mean, we were just playing a simple game of what is it called? Like an evil foster mom. We were just playing. No, she's lying. She got my dad arrested so she can get money out of being my foster mom. That's not true. She has an imagination. Please don't believe her. I don't want to stay here. Don't worry, you're coming with me. I know she's lying. What? Why would you even say something like that after all I did for you? You're so ungrateful. I'm going to place you under citizen's arrest. This is done. Please don't take her. I need her so she can pay my bills. That's it. I'm calling the police. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, yes, uh, I need the police to 2650 Robinson Way, Unit 227. I have a woman abusing a child. I'll have a police officer headed your way. Can I get your information? Yes, uh, my name is Taylor. I work for Child Fostering Services. 
I also really need to speak to a detective. I have evidence that will exonerate Michael Stone, case number R995. My dad's coming home? Yes, Alex. Because of you, your dad's coming home. <laughs> The police arrived and placed Susan under arrest. After reviewing the evidence, Michael Stone was exonerated. Alex was happily reunited with her dad. Hey, what's up guys? We hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, please don't forget to drop a big old thumbs up on it and don't forget to share it with someone who might need to hear this message. We love you all and we will see you in the next one.